Lots been going on since we got back from Brickwood, Indianapolis four days ago. It's Thursday, March 21st, the start of the uh, March Madness NCAA tournament. So it's coming on in like 10 minutes, they should start. And we sorted this out yesterday. I got a good sort started. I'm going to finish that today. Um, Try to down sort. I've already already put away all the pins, so if things are adding up over here. If the drawers aren't quite full, but some are getting full. But obviously, some pins. This this will fill up. The basic pins we'll have to upload today. Lots of axles, and we're gonna get that going and keep on working through all these parts that need to be down sorted. They're kind of sorted. Um, but yeah, so we'll keep on working. It's a lot of work to run a Brickling store. The fun is gone. The work is here. Nice Brickling order is like 200 some euros, just over 200. I kind of went overboard on buying capes. These dragon capes in there. I haven't had them in a long, long time. I just stopped buying them because they got expensive, but they had a pretty good deal on them. Um, oh, which is a good deal. And they're yellow, um, six euros each, so I, know, I bought everything. They had, they had ten of them. They, they, they look pretty good. I mean, they're vintage and they're going to have a little fraying, but nothing crazy. Heads, guns, and some sombreros. I, thought, I didn't think I've ordered. This is like the one for Dumbledore. I didn't think I ordered it. And the note says, we tried our best. I can't see it all. To identify the correct capes, but it could be all versions. Well, what they're talking about is this, the length of them. It's 3.9 centimeters or 4.0 centimeters. These are the wrong color. <laughs> it's not what I ordered. So it's like 350 each. So I could definitely have to complain about that. Um, but there's uh, everything else looks pretty good that I ordered, except that nice little air. I mean, it's a big store, has tons of feedback, but apparently probably somebody works for them. This is the I ordered that here to the for the downhill skier, uh, the newer version, not this old, this old one. <laughs> If you find any parts damage when picking your order, please refund for those bad parts. 96% feedback, and the I should probably just walk away. There's too many good things that I could use for Star Wars. Pretty much everything I'm buying here is Star Wars, so that is uh, what I want. Uh, eBay restock. These are all ones I got from that Brooklink order. Is it just that one? Oh no, I, and I also work these that I they were piling up for like weeks, cut over a week. Actually, before, before I went to Mississippi on my vacation, just ones that I wasn't sure if I could build, or I only know how to build them, or where to get some of the parts. So, uh, and then we got these rebuilt from this morning that just sold. So, I'll get those relisted. I gotta do it in two different batches. Those are easy to relist on my just my sold window on eBay. These ones I have to look up individually because they're older. So, I'll do these ones first. Now, well, 336, I got this file created for me. Got all these parts parted out for me. Um, so I'll probably get to that tomorrow, but this, I'm trying to get this put away. It's 140 lots, $223. But there's a mini figure in here that is valued at like almost $60. That I don't know if I actually have that mini figure. It's a Kai from the Lego movie. So I'll have to, I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing it specifically, but it's in here somewhere if I have. If I have it, but there's some complete minifigures. I have no idea where it came from or why it's in this file. Because I don't remember seeing it. Maybe I did, but I'll show it when I get there. Game on my phone and the game on CBS, on the national TV. So I, this year, because I have AT&T, so the Max streaming service is free and all the games that are not on national TV are on Max for free. That's pretty cool. Before you could get like three free hours. Throughout the whole tournament on the Nash Madness app, but 
don't need it, so I would sparingly watch it. <laughs> now it's anywhere I can take my phone, so they're feeding us too much media. Anyway, it's fun. Um, so I found out, okay, so sometimes when you look up parts, sometimes the, you know, the camera doesn't pick up certain things. So what he must have done is he needed to get this hair, and he pulled up this figure, which is extremely rare, apparently, or expensive. It's like 60 bucks goes for. What did he come in? I think, um, oh, he, really? That, really? There's figures that expensive in that city? I mean, this set's extremely expensive now, so I can understand it, but... Wow, so I guess I gotta delete that. He wasn't in here. So that's all the mystery. The day at 253 lots. Light's still using that. Forgive me for not missing uh, the Brooklyn Indianapolis. I'll make sure I take you to Milwaukee, buddy. Be the best sidekick that I can forget. Anyway, 992,267 parts. So we're under. 10,000 pieces to get to a million again at this point. Um, 23,000 lots we just hit again for like the third or fourth time. So, I do have a number of parts sorted for me for tomorrow. So lots of lots of minifig torsos and legs. I think I, there's, I wrote it down, I had 87 of these Ninjago errands. Uh, I, I think I bought 100 of them and I put some in my store completed. So that's pretty wild. Uh, let me part it out. The lawnmower guy, 15 of those, and then I think six of these Lucifer cat from Disney Princess stuff. So that's all for tomorrow. Then we'll move on next. I need this bin to put mail in. It's the only one I have. No, I don't have a secret room with a ton, tons of those mail bins full of Lego parts. Um, and then we were just working through this box of these so definitely it's going to go into next week, obviously. Tomorrow's Friday. So, um, yeah. So I just want to... There's another 10 in here, too. So I have 50 in that bit over there, and then I have 50 of these ones down at the bottom of this. So I've already parted both, all both of those out, 50 already. So i got to really figure out what to do with all that. In my mind, I'm trying to wrap around my head around what, what the best way. we got a rogue Emperor Palpatine. The Lord of the Convention stock. This used, I sold a bunch of these. I think I took like 15 of them, and I, I only have, I think, just one, maybe two left somewhere. So, yeah. Call it a day. So, watch some more basketball. One, two, three, four eBay orders. One was $50. Actually, two were about $50, and then the oh, seven items was. I think around eighty dollars. So okay, we're in tiny orders. Um, trying to pull this up. It's taking a minute. And uh, yeah, here we go. Three twenty-two. Eight Brooklyn orders. Six Brickall. Fourteen orders. Seven hundred items. One hundred thirty-nine lots. Two hundred seventy-one dollars. So it's a slow Friday morning for me. Alright, we will uh, get going. Brick, Brick Owl is doing decent compared to Bricklink. Usually, the price, the dollar amount difference is over double from Bricklink, so Bricklink just was slow. Brick Owl is pretty normal, I guess. Um, yeah, so we'll get this done, and uh, I got these parts to upload. Ready to go. No secret. This person's doing two dark purple hands, and then I had a rocket boy that I put for sale. They're trying to complete the gray. Boom. Spaceman, probably the purple one. This figure goes for $22.95. <laughs> Because of the torso, it's insane. It's, it's, I think because of the purple one came out, people really want all of them. 
And this one has been, it's been, it wasn't out for like, I don't know, was this, it might have been out in 2017? That was a while ago. 2018 maybe? At some point, um, they were, Lego was putting out a series on the year, like this is from 2017, I think it was all the way up to 2020. And then uh, Series 21 came out that same year, the next year maybe, but they were doing it on the year for a certain number of them, not a lot of them, somewhere after um, Series 14 maybe started, I don't know. Anyway, great order. Official Brick Studios. Easter Bunny prep. He's at, he asked me the other day for a leprechaun uh, to overnight it, but I didn't have one. So this I did have. I had some Easter Bunny stuff. Thank you. All right. Boom. Two of those. Got one of these. That uh, yeah, I couldn't. I was gonna part one of these out. Some of them, but I. Is that right? Yeah, they didn't have the parts loaded yet, so got those. They didn't have that one loaded either, but I worked away around that. Uh, we got an order for Joe. It's one of my top buyers, most orders in the store. And it looks like he's building with his granddaughter again. Her daughters, granddaughters. Um, so we got lots of color, so. I gotta go way over here now. So awesome! I love seeing orders from people that I that I know and hang out with. Sometimes had a good time at Chicago last year. Yeah, yeah, he did say he was gonna potentially see me at Indianapolis. And he, he he isn't there, so he couldn't make it. Two, four, six. All right. Awesome. Thank you do with 87 minifigures but you gotta just figure it out I'm gonna do 35 complete to Bricklink 10 to eBay there's 45 so we're still dealing with 42 more I'll maybe I'll build 10 for uh, convention so 32 and then I'll part out the rest problem solved Pretty on Friday. The snow was flying. I think we're gonna get like maybe three inches, maybe two, but it's, it's a lot of it melted when it hit. But it's sticking now. Um, we have 2,624 items, 67 lots, $602. That was. <sighs> let's, do, let's do some math on camera. Well, I'll use a calculator though. So 87 plus 15 plus 6. So we had 108 foil bags, paper bags, whatever. On average with shipping, uh, they're like 250. So my cost was like 270. So a little more than double. Um, I, I did take out uh, 10, 20 of this figure though. So there's, that'll be sold on convention and eBay. So there's that little extra there. So, but yeah, it's a good upload. Lots of new pieces actually. Uh, new lots in the store. So now I'm going to upload that and then I'm going to work on these two together. The city one and this one I'm going to combine. This is like an eBay lot together. Nice action photo. And we'll get the rest out of here. I'm down to two because I picked Kentucky to win in one of them. This is my best one if Purdue wins. I have a shot but I still one of my final fours is gone. Uh -huh. And then one of my national, I don't know why. I picked Kentucky. I don't really watch college basketball. I guess I did get it. I talked to my son's friend that comes over. He was fine. He calls it. He said he, he was thinking Kentucky was going to do good. So I kind of went with some inf that information. But um, where is this? I opened one of these. Just got my business cards in. And must, this is the one I open. If I can open it again. So I did. I did. I made one change to my business cards, and somebody did ask where I get them from. Hey, it's just these to print. I don't know. I just started there. I only ordered like 200 the first time I did it, and then 
I just kept using their software and there's other probably better places. But this was actually, I got $50 off a $150 order or something. So these are actually, it ended up being, and it was free shipping. The last time I ordered these, I had to pay shipping and I didn't have that discount or there was some other discount that really wasn't really a good discount. This is only 150 bucks for 2,500 of them. So uh, the one change I did is I, I chose the glossy finish instead of the matte. I think they look... I mean, you know, it does have them look good when it's glaring, but in person, it looks really nice when it's not glared. <laughs> um, and I like how they turned out. The last ones, I think, were a little darker. The printing was a little bit different in some spots, but I use the same thing for my uh, my banner I put at the at the show. So, which I've been for two years. One saying I need to get a update that make something different for the shows. <laughs> Oh, but it works just fine. I have the smallest banner of all the vendors, along with the smallest prices. I guess it matches up in the end, so I'm very happy how this turned out. <laughs> uh, I did, there's 29 of them in this, of each. So 29, wait, 29 of each, yeah, 10. Yeah, so uh, I think I did the math. 29 times 2. So my cost is like 145 from this batch. Thing. There were some of these I didn't really want to buy, but it was you had to buy a thousand to get the best deal. So um, there's not much profit in this one. It's like it's pretty bad, but um, yeah, 219 dollars, 307 items, 23 lots, and we will upload that and see what's next. A few more uploads. So there's the Robin. And the scuba diver with the shark I'm going to do next. Those two to combine. I just, why don't I do them all at once and just hit upload at once? I don't know. I think this, uh, there's, there's reasons behind, like I did the last one, the police have made a, um, a listing with that. Then we have two Jurassic World ones. I don't know. There's just a, I guess I can probably put the motorcycle with the baby dinosaur. That jetpack thing is just dumb, in my opinion. I mean, it's good parts, but... Does he actually do that in the movie? I don't. I don't know. I doubt it. Um, I'm not. I don't watch the movies. I mean, I have, but I haven't paid attention to them. Um, then we got Lloyd, this Prince guy, and then this Murray guard. So I'll do those three together because there's not many of the Lloyd and the guard. And then we have these Minecraft ones, which I thought almost did just now, but I'll do those next. And then we have the tins here, and then the tins in this other um, basket. I'll probably get those moved out of there um, at some point, because I need that for Monday, that bin, to take the mail. But anyway, so keep going. Actually, I'm actually going to take a break. Second breakfast. It's almost lunch, 10.55 a.m., so... Take a quick break. Uh, Robin and the uh, diver with the shark foil bags are all completed. Came with a good, this is a good outcome. $370. 31 lots, 508 items. So we are really cruising toward a million parts. Um, we're slowly getting there. Why is it? Oh, I was like, why is it 500? Because the, the jet pack for Robin had a number of parts. I guess that's most of it. So now I'm going to take a break from this for the next half hour or so. I'm going to try to get some of this situated. I don't know if my son might work today, so I might need to um, get some stuff ready for him. The one technic bin I had, I got to meet the dog that has the, uh, left all the hair behind in the bin. Nice golden retriever. When I bought the Star Wars stuff, so there's some uh, memories right home. Basketball's on. Here and cleaned up with all the hair. And so this I didn't sort out. I'll probably do this tonight while I should work some basketball. I did some sorting last night for about an hour while I watched basketball. Uh, and then get the girls put away. So I'm just going to leave that for later. But I did get all this stuff ready for a file to be created with my son. I'm not sure if he's going to work today. Some It's Fridays or hit or miss. Um, Sometimes I don't really have work for them, but now I do. And 
I gotta pick out the next batch. What did I say in the last clip before this? I think I was gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one, and then I want to do. Um, I want to do the Minecraft one that Jurassic World I'm not excited about, and then the last one will be the Tins. I will do which won't be today unless somebody comes and wants to work. Then I will uh, have them unbox those Tins for me. Boom. 33 more lots, 235 items, $323, and we're, we're uploaded. So, uh, the next thing we got here, uh, we're getting the Minecraft. And then I already have someone working on these, the one of those that was in the bin, so I'm going to grab those two. Minecraft are done. We got, we got all the tins sorted out. Um, I did put 20 of each for sale complete because I realized that the ones I put for complete for sale were already sold out, so they do sell. So we did Minecraft is a really good upload. $511, 881 items, 36 unique lots. I did take out 30 of the minifigs too. So there's actually 30 minifigs not here and I'm talking about Steve too, diamond armor, so <clears throat> which isn't that much, but it's still something. And we upload. And yeah, move on to. I'll try to take care of this and probably call it a day. There's 455, 27 lots, 607 items. Most of these are still in my store. It's the second time I parted this thing out, so. But good day of uploading. It's uh, Saturday morning. I'm having trouble with my bubble wrap. I ordered it. Um, as soon as I got back from our, our trip in Mississippi. Never came after 10 days. I reordered it on Amazon, I think last Friday or Saturday morning. And now it's delayed to March 29th. So now I ordered it to have come in from Walmart, bring it to our house because we have Walmart Plus. Because that won't get me through Monday. I don't even know if it's, it should get me through today. Um, I'm just getting stuff. I actually I got quite a bit of eBay orders here. So I'm just uh, placing that order. It should be dropped off between 9 and 10 a.m. So. Walmart Plus is, is very handy. You're paying the extra fee, and then you have, they did change it. You have to do a minimum $35 order now, or they won't drop it off to your house. But um, this was bought too. A little more expensive to buy the bubble wrap from them, but what can you do? Amazon has failed me. Actually, the first one I bought on eBay failed me. Now Amazon has failed me. We'll see if uh, Walmart brings it, but. Pretty good orders. I pulled some more, six more packs of Ninjago cards. That was nice. They're, they're slowly going. Crazy quilt. He's actually quite a bit. 22 bucks on eBay. So, good stuff. Brick Link and Brick Out orders 11 for Brick Link, 6 on Brick Out. It's pretty, pretty normal. 17 total orders, 1600 items, 335 lots, and or $156 and I always talk about the discrepancy between brick hall and brick link the dollar amount usually at brick link is typically about three times as much between two and three times as much dollar no matter even if it's the same number of orders or close to it um, just how it is brick hall gets smaller orders which is fine take what you can get in this business um, so yeah it is 6 10 a.m. I'm gonna go get my my quick coffee break here and at like quarter after seven I have to Head to the YMCA. My daughter headed a gymnastics team sleepover. So one of her most exciting things that she does, or she looks forward to, and it's the only free thing they offer. So we get excited too. <laughs> this is expensive. To you. I mean, for a sport compared to other sports, it's, it's quite a bit for the year. But anyway, so I got to get moving on this. 335 lots. Got my uh, labels ready for each order when I. Get it done, I bubble wrap it and tape the name and address or order number to it. Um, so that I can match it up to a label later. And then I did get four, there's four um, Bricklink orders last night I picked up at the post office. So, And then the only other thing I'm going to be doing today is getting this file put away. So once I get done shipping, all that, I'm just going to put that away and call it a day. You'll see. Most uh, like light nougat or light flesh parts I've ever sold is all that. It's going to Saskatoon. 
up there in Canada. Awesome, thank you. Great stuff. Right. The final two are going home. I'm not sure how many I had one of these at one point, but I want to say there was like maybe eight. So last two, $29.95 each. It's a nice uh, $60 order. Goodbye. It's like bag restock from that store I bought six months ago now. So <laughs> there's an insane amount left. But I'm trying to get through them. Slowly get through it. It's uh. It's nice to see 113 lots, 431 items in lot number 38 is used, so almost 100 used lots and only 30 some new. So that's all the used sets I've been parting out. I've been waiting for orders like this, <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, the little parts will move. It's just good to have the variety so that they're available when people need them. Order 15 is a note, one item, one lot. Hello. Hello. Adventure time. Ooh, that's just my focus never works anymore. Anyway, fitting the human. Hundred some pins. Cool. Trans clear. Lift arms. All this. It's in a file. Sixteen hundred total items. One hundred and twenty lots. What's it worth? I don't know. I have no idea. Eighty-seven dollars is my guess. One hundred dollars and eighty-eight cents. So that's pretty good. This is a file my son made at the end of the day. He also did some minifigures. I have to send the file over real quick before I start this. Got all these. Uh, not too many. Just took basic city torsos and had them build according to pictures. Some use for the Duplo. This basket was hanging forward and it would like roll off if I didn't make it directly. So. Now, uh, it's better. Best game of the weekend. 55 55. I mean, one of them. It's about a couple of them. It is Monday morning. We sold a good amount on eBay with 69 orders, I think. I have a sheet somewhere. Oh, it fell down. Okay. It was 37 orders and 69 items, is what it was. So. 37 uh, shipping labels being printed right now um, and the total is 964 dollars that's with shipping and everything so I did do the math uh, I just paid like a hundred and just over 150 in shipping and it, I received 147 so I was talking with some other seller so they turned off their free shipping offers on eBay and uh, so that the battery died. I saw it was going to happen, but I kept going. Anyway, so I talked to another eBay seller that said they turned off free shipping offers, um, and they've they made $150 profit, like more than they paid for shipping after like two weeks. So that that's something to think about. But I still think I'm I'm selling a lot, so I'm still getting a good amount. It brings people back. So I'm going to keep it for now. Um, but this one, yeah, it was just a few dollars below, but then with eBay, you have to pay the payment fee and the eBay fee. I think you'd have to do that in Brooklyn, too. So it's still in like another 12%, roughly, uh, for the extra money that I bring in or any that I bring in for shipping. So say I brought in 150 you know, that's another $18 that's coming off of that that eBay gets because they charge the, sh the, the payment or eBay selling fees on top of that so that's kind of i don't know think about changing my price a little bit on bricklink and ebay the shipping price add like 50 more cents to the shipping cost but we'll see how the next month goes and decide but decent decent weekend can't complain and we'll get to bricklink and brick out here after i get this all package up it's it's not 4 39 a.m it's time to Jump them up. 5.39 a.m. There we go. 20 orders on Bricklink. 17 on Brickall. So 37 orders in the past 48 hours. Which is pretty good. As far as that goes. Um, 2,300 items. 500 lots. 
$703, which for 37 orders seems low. Um, what is that? Do the math here. 700 divided by 37. This $20 per order, which is lower than what I'm used to. I'm getting up to closer to $30 an order. It's in like the, the $27 to $29 range typically a month. So just people are buying a little bit less as far as the total order. And then, you know, this is including the shipping costs that I would receive. So it's not, so you got to take that out of 37 orders too. So the product that's sold, I mean, some of them did get free shipping. Actually, none of the Perco, I don't have that set up there, but in many of the um, Bricklink orders were lower cost. So I'd say probably 30. So, so about 150 of this is r roughly shipping cost too. So not even product cost. So yeah, it's slow down. <laughs> I did put a small sale on some items. Um, I think minifigure parts and sets, like 10% off. So and I did that on Sunday morning. So I don't think it really did much for sales after that because it was pretty slow uh, most of Saturday. So, but I mean, it's still very good. $700 to sell is strong to do that in a weekend. So we're doing good. I, basically, I just <laughs> um, have to budget better. To make sure that I'm able to sell what I buy. Um, I talked to Ralph over the weekend. He said he's putting out another Brick Separators episode of him reacting to one of our episodes. So watch for that. He said early April, like the second, maybe April 8th, I think he said. And don't quote me on that because things have changed. But he he said it's gonna. He's gonna have another episode coming out sometime in April. He said April 8th. He's he, apparently he's got it already so so watch for that I'll, I'll do a community post on it with the link once I have that so let's get to work we're from barn bricks aka dad bod so I when I was doing my uh, editing for Indianapolis I'm like I don't think I got any clips of him at my booth he was at my booth for at least half the day on Saturday and we uh, on Friday night we got to go together to pick up uh, that Star Wars collection so um, we got yeah we had time to talk and we, he took us out to dinner me and my son so that was nice and uh, yeah he's got an amazing testimony of how he became a Christian which was just, just it's it's similar to mine uh, but his is definitely uh, got some uh, more teeth to it I guess you'd say it's, uh, you know how <laughs> what happened here is younger but yeah it was great great to hang out can't wait to hang out again so hopefully in Grand Rapids we'll be able to connect down there um, so this is an order for him looks like it's uh, 20 20 items 19 lots it's all it's like all mini fake parts so he did send a message after the order I said something about instead of ripping many figures apart, he's going to try to put some back together. So that's what's going on here, as you can see. And, uh, oh, shortly after that message I got on Saturday morning, this is order number two, so I did get a message about another Lego Expo. Not con and maybe it's a convention, I don't really know 100%. It's called the the Ultimate Brick Show that I'm going to be a part of in May, early May. It's in Quincy, Illinois. So look that up. If it's on the, it's, kind of, it's right on the border of uh, Missouri and near Iowa, the, the three corners that we're all, like, they all meet. So that is something that um, we're looking for other shows. I don't know. It's kind of a first time show there, but they've had another show uh, elsewhere. So they, they're established, but they're trying this location. So the, the vendor fees are very reasonable. And it's a reason to take the family on another vacation. So we'll probably just go a day or two early and just check out that city. And 
it's like a population of like 40,000 like in that city but there's you know cities all around it's not like it's just one city and nothing I gotta take that off but so that's like the weekend before Mother's Day I think May 4th and 5th 3rd and 4th I don't remember exactly but so we have uh, Milwaukee in uh, just under three weeks now, and I will be heading there in 18, 19 days. And then three weeks after that, this one's in the same drawer. Is that right? Yeah. Three weeks after that, we'll be going to that show. And then we have a thing in Green Bay, the small, the small show we do every three months. Two weeks after that which is a relaxing, fun time for me. Just go in the morning, the oven, spend the day there. And then after that, Chicago, and the month after that. So it's uh, 10, 78. So that's the schedule. And then I think four weeks after Chicago, three or four weeks, we have our Bay Beach Amusement Park show, which I love. That was small. Um, but there's only two vendors, <laughs> so it's very busy for me, and that's what I like. So we got two and ten, and then one nineteen. So we want two of these ones. And then one nineteen. That's going to the Wonder Twin guy. Awesome. There it is. Successfully pulled all the quarters at uh, 10:14 a.m. So just gotta get the envelopes and everything, and get it out of here. There we go. Ended up being 35 orders because two brick orders had additions to them. So we're done at 10:33 uh, a.m. We're done. Quick breaks. It's 11:07. I guess we'll just edit an email and other things out on the computer for the last 10 minutes or so. To let's see. So this is a Bricklink order, and I think I just pulled it, pulled it in. Yeah, I just pulled it in here. 70 lots, 196 items, 256 dollars is what the, uh, the actual price of it was. Um, that's not including shipping was. I think nine dollars, <clears throat> something like that. So we're gonna get this process. See how many minifigures we can get out of our waiting for parts bin here, and uh, get this looking a little more healthy. I used to only have two of these boxes, but then it just kind of I started getting bigger project things like waiting for legs for all that dinosaurs so I used to put the bigger stuff elsewhere so I'm bigger I'll just get three I have room on the same shelf for three they stack each on top so it's kept that three this is a series Ninjago Star Wars and the rest is this alphabetical and then so what I do is alphabetical and these two rows actually this row could go here and I could just use this one for all the other random things but it seems to work fine like this because I know it seems fine it seems good so anyway, get this uh, going, get this, these parts. As you can see, there's a lot of parts, but I buy a ton of the same thing, so I have extra, so I've got to continue to buy them. <clears throat> so it is a process I go through is completing the one figure and then putting the rest of the parts in with, um, like that's a Series 2 Mariachi. And if it would ever focus, I had four heads, so I obviously only need one of them, because that's the only thing it ever it goes to. And I don't even know if I need it right now. No, I do. Looks like that's the only piece I was waiting for that guy. So I'll put one on here, and then the other three will go into my Series 2 bin. Um, over here, where this is where I just store all of my minifigure parts that I rebuild. Um, like what I'll do for a convention. Like I have oh two conventions coming up in like the three weeks apart. I just did the Indianapolis, so... After the next one, I, I have enough to go through Milwaukee fine, but after that one, I'll, I'll go through and start building some things. Um, I don't know, maybe build a few of those. Like, I know I, my Star Wars bin 
reserves are getting a little bit low and it's very difficult to find good prices on eBay or anywhere for Star Wars people are not making very much money when they resell them that's all I know but I luckily have a, a lot of stuff that just is just here you know I have complete figures and stuff I can just start grabbing things out um, so anyway so my series this is my series pull the series 2 out Sometimes I realize, oh, I already had those pieces. Cause they're not, it's not the easiest to see everything in these when you're looking for them. Especially for yellow heads when every head in there is yellow. But anyway, get to work. It cost a lot, so I was hoping it would complete a lot and it did. Some pretty good stuff. Classic King. So, <clears throat> Great Alien. So, yeah. Um, maybe I'll just, I'll just make a pile and just keep going until I have all these orders. There's, like I said, some of these are not very big, so just a few items there. This one is just capes, so we'll get take care of that. I'll show them the bottom of there. I'm not sure what this one is. Looks like it's relatively small. Brick scavenger, that's what this is from. I just placed a big order with them on Friday, so there's a sticker in there, I can't see it though. Puppy dog. It's in there. Finding uh, damaged parts is always not fun when you get a brick link order, but when they cost this is twelve dollars. It's got a really nice one right here. With the gouge on the side, just one on this side too, and a couple in the back. Not. Print is great. It didn't say it's not. It's not in the description that it's damaged. And one of these for damage. It's got also bite marks in it through the front. Big scratch up here, right there, in dents. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no description of it, or I would have passed. It said a couple small nicks. That's all it takes to list on there, and it just yeah. Definitely about that. Unfortunately, can't use it. A lot of time on their hands. Not me. It's really nice packaging, but way too time consuming. For all those Bricklink orders, and there's a good number. <laughs> Looks at least like 40 figures there. For the guard. So, and then magically, these all the, all the rest of my uh, paper bag or foil bags I had are. Now open to some of the, saved a few for a convention, but um, open the coal. I didn't have very many of them. Uh, and then 35 of each of the Jurassic World with the jetpack Owen and then the motorcycle Owen. So we'll get that all taken care of after I get all those relisted and taken care of. And I'm heading out to lunch or up for lunch at 1 30, so we'll get that. And that'll be probably all I do today. On uh, Monday, 3.29, so I'm going to get this uploaded. I realized uh, this one wasn't parted out yet, or doesn't have the inventory, but I'll, I'm sure all the parts are in the system. So I'll do that tomorrow, so that, that one got left behind. And then my uh, my older son did this. I had a file here for tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow, because I would uh, got to go to the post office, run some errands, so let's get, usually I work till 4, but I'll probably won't be out of here for 10 more minutes anyway, so... We're going to export this and call it a day. Oh, my bubble wrap came. That, I wasn't sure it was coming. And I had to buy extra at a higher rate. So, oh well. Thank you.